these are the parts you need for the roll axis. First of all, you need to cut some good quality 6mm diameter carbon fibre tube. Two lengths of 172mm. Now that's again for the Blackmagic Micro camera. Your mileage might vary depending on what camera you're using. And four lengths of 42mm each. Um, you've also got the tilt motor mount, the bearing former uh, for the right hand side of the tilt axis and we've got the roll motor mounting and as well as that we need a 5mm bolt, 5mm by 20mm uh, nut and bolt, a bearing, flanged bearing 5 millimeters inside diameter, 14 millimeters outside di diameter, four 3 millimeter set screws or grub screws, whatever you want to call them, four 3 mil by 5 mil countersunk screws for the motor, and four 2.5 millimeters by 5 millimeters countersunk screws um, for the motor as well. Okay now we'll start assembling it. First of all we stick the 270 millimeter um, tubes into the end bracket, push them in and then we need to slide the gimbal adjust um, so the gimbal roll motor adjustable plate that goes slides onto the two rails push it in and you see that's adjustable left and right um, and that eventually will be fixed when we've balanced it out with set screws and the set screws go in the four holes mounted on the corners. Now you might need to, if you've got a 3mm um, tap, to tap those holes out to 3mm. If not, any 3mm bolt will, will tap it out because it's only plastic after all. And uh, all the grub screws are for is to hold it in place once it's been adjusted. So we need to assemble the rest of the uh, the rest of the roll axis which I'll do now and I'll show you when it's completed. Okay we've assembled the roll axis it's not rigid yet but it will be. You can see how it's been assembled the 272 mm rods are there with the adjustable motor back for the roll axis motor and the 42 millimeter um, tubes are inserted into the motor mount on one side and the bearing on the other side is punched into the hole. Now the tolerances are quite close depending on how accurate your printer is you might have to drill out the, uh, uh, the holes if it's too small. Now it's not rigid yet, it's fully adjustable, uh, but it will be after we've assembled it to the tilt axis and then when, when, when you're happy that everything is square and moving properly we wick uh, thin CA glue, thin super glue into these joints, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and that will hold that uh, perfectly rigid. So I'll just uh, assemble the rest of it, rest of the tilt axis and roll axis together and then we'll do a rough balancing with the camera before we proceed with the pan axis. Now we're ready to attach the roll axis to the tilt or pitch axis. Um, 
You might have noticed that the roll axis has miraculously, miraculously changed colour. Well, my 3D printer does that sometimes. Anyway, time to um, attach the two. So we've got this 5mm bolt. That goes through this hole here. Quite a tight fit. I'll do that in a minute. And that goes through the bearing on the left hand side of the the roll plate. These wires, which we've already explained, go through the centre of the pitch mount. motor plate, fixed axis motor plate, thread that through there and that motor then gets bolted on to this plate here with 3mm 3mm by 5mm um, screws there um, so that attaches onto there the bearing attaches onto there uh, these wires will go through the roll axis motor which we are going to attach onto there and the last thing that we need to remember is that the motor needs to have a power lead now that needs to be connected before you bolt the motor in otherwise you won't get the lead onto it the power lead plugs onto there it doesn't doesn't matter about the polarity of the wires they're all interchangeable and uh, you can have any wire in any hole it just affects the direction of the motor uh, but the software will sort that out in the controller when we get to it so now we've got the IMU wire the camera control wire and the tilt motor wire all needs to be threaded through this hole here and eventually through the roll motor hollow shaft so I'll, I'll put that all together now and you'll see what it looks like uh, when we put it together it's time to put the camera on and get a rough balance mark um, so that we can fix the set screws into the roll axis motor mount. Right, I've assembled the roll axis now. Um, on the left hand side, we've, that's where we've got the bearing with a 5mm bulk through it and I've attached the roll axis to the motor. Just a couple of points to notice. I put a bit of shrink wrap around the cable there to keep it nice and tidy. Um, don't shrink it yet until we've finally made sure everything's working. Then we can um, shrink that shrink wrap and fasten it up with cable ties. So all the wires are still going through the hollow shaft of the motors and we've now got two motors. Um, just roughly balance it up. I've put the camera on to roughly balance it up. We'll do the final balance and the roll balance is about there before we carry on uh, with the gimbal assembly. When it's completely assembled, we'll fine tune the balance, but it's probably a good idea to do a rough balance at the moment. Now, all we need to do 
is just check everything with the micrometer that it's all square, the same distance to the center of that bearing to the um, the rails on one side and the other side um, and it's all flat and nice and it's not twisted if it is twisted a bit you can just because we haven't glued it yet just adjust it until you're happy with it and now's the time we can put a bit of thin wick a bit of thin CA into that joint, that joint, those joints those joints and that joint and that will dry very quickly and it will be as as rigid as you can get it um, just one point though make sure you take the camera off before you get CA super glue anywhere near the gimbal if the tiniest drop of super glue gets into your camera then the camera is finished Might just as well throw it away but the next thing to do is to attach the pan axis